Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Nancy Holkamp. A new survey is shedding a bit of light on the emotional burden and impact on independence among those with a leading cause of blindness called geographic atrophy, or GA. It's the advanced form of age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, which can cause irreversible vision loss. Well, as I said, joining us this morning is Dr. Nancy Holkamp. Holcamp, Director of Retina Services. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Holcamp. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me on your show today. Give us a, a brief look into your professional background, if you would, and then explain to us what GA is. I am a retina specialist, which means I have been to medical school, had four years of residency training in ophthalmology, and then two years of specialty training in diseases that affect the retina. And one of those diseases is geographic atrophy, or GA. It is an advanced form of age-related macular degeneration. And it is a global health problem. It affects 5 million people worldwide, including 1 million people in the United States. And what this disease does is it affects your central vision. That is the fine vision that's required for reading and driving, and it is progressive. So you can imagine how this impacts one's independence and quality of life. Now, there are those who say that the impact on the independence and, as you say, the quality of life due to this uh, visual decline is much worse than they expected. Is that the norm? Well, it is one of the key findings from a recent survey called the Geographic Atrophy Insight Survey, or the GAINS Survey. Mm -hmm. This was conducted by the Harris Poll and sponsored by Appellus Pharmaceuticals, who I'm here on behalf of today. And it, it surveyed over 200 adults with GA across nine countries, again, emphasizing the global nature of this disease. But seven out of 10 patients believe that the impact on their independence and quality of life due to their visual decline was much worse than they expected. That their difficulty reading or driving really left them relying on a caregiver for support uh, through the daily activities of life. And so there's this huge emotional burden on patients affected with GA. If a person lives long enough, are they guaranteed to experience GA? No. In fact, although it's an age-related degeneration and it's more common as people get older, there's a genetic uh, predisposition. And so you will find that age-related macular degeneration as well as GA runs in families. And so you can't just live a long time. You actually have to have the the gene that leads to this Mm -hmm. disease. Are there any other misconceptions about GA that you'd like to share with us? Well, a lot of patients think that losing vision is just a part of getting older. And again, it was another key insight from this survey. Uh, About three out of four patients with geographic atrophy thought they were just losing vision as part of the aging process prior to their proper diagnosis. And so I'd like to reinforce the notion that, you know, getting older shouldn't be associated with loss of vision unless something's wrong. And so we definitely want people who feel that their vision is not as good as it used to be to, to see an eye doctor. And in fact, the American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends that everyone over the age of 50 have yearly comprehensive eye exams. So that any eye condition, including geographic atrophy, can be properly diagnosed. Now, although it's the leading cause of of blindness in adults, is it often misdiagnosed as some other type of condition? Making the diagnosis really does require a specialist. Um, uh, Retina specialists are specifically trained in making diagnoses such as geographic atrophy. But what I would recommend is that you see any of your eye care providers because if something is wrong, you can always be referred to a specialist for the uh, accurate diagnosis and education about this condition. 
In your experience, has the pandemic lessened people's willingness to go in and get checked out? Is this something that has impacted GA greatly? Is there an unmet need for getting tested and screened? Absolutely. So the pandemic did keep people away from eye doctor's offices. Many people were at home experiencing the slow decline of vision that occurs with GA and and really not feeling comfortable seeing their eye doctor in person. And so I would encourage everyone to uh, see their eye doctor if they are experiencing loss of sight. What about starting the conversation with um, one of your older patients who may not be forthcoming with information about their eyesight, getting the conversation started with someone who may be set in their ways, for lack of a better term, and isn't willing to talk about what's going on with their eyesight? Well, when I make a diagnosis of GA in an older uh, person who is losing their ability to read and drive, I very much like to include their caregivers in the conversation Mm -hmm. and educate them about the disease and and how the disability can be overcome with low vision aids, magnifiers. I like to educate people on whether or not they meet the legal requirements for driving. And I like to prepare them for both the physical and the emotional outcomes of this disease. What about the the mindset of the caregiver? When you talk to people who are caring for those with GA, what types of feedback are you getting? So these diseases affect not only the patient, but the loved ones around them and their family. And a patient with GA may be able to pick out letters on an eye chart, but the disease affects their ability to see street signs or to, to read the newspaper or to read a menu at a restaurant. And it's really about understanding the disability and providing the needed support. And so I really do think that both patients, their family members, and their caregivers need to be educated about the, um, uh, the huge impact that this condition, GA, can have on central vision and the things that we normally take for granted. What is the main takeaway from the GAIN study that you'd like us to, uh, to leave with? Well, the GAIN study was really to help us understand GA as part of age-related macular degeneration and to reinforce the need for broader GA-specific education. And I hope this information is helpful in encouraging anyone who feels that they're not seeing as well as they used to to see their eye doctor for a complete eye exam that may help them understand their eye health and to begin the open and honest conversations that patients should have with their doctors. Give us a resource where our listeners can learn more. So there's a lot of information on the internet, but really the best information comes from your eye doctor. And so again, I do encourage everyone over the age of 50 to have a yearly comprehensive eye exam. Dr. Holkamp, thank you so much for lending us some of your time this morning. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Lots of great information. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure to speak with you today. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Nancy Holkamp. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.